Hello, I'm going to make a short video about using Atla today to find some articles about uh, Timothy, the, a letter uh, written by Paul to Timothy, I believe it was, and then uh, there's a first and second uh, Timothy. So I'm going to actually show you maybe two or three searches for this topic to give you an example of how to use Atla. So let me go ahead and go to the Moody Library homepage. And I'm going to scroll down and go to the databases. And then I'm going to click on religion. And here's Atla right here. And once you click on this, you'll have to sign in if you haven't signed in before to, uh, today or whenever you open that. I just signed in. So it let me in. You're going to use your HBU email and your password. Okay, so we have an advanced search here. Notice there are different search fields that you can search. In a minute, I'm going to show you how to use the scripture uh, reference field. But right now, we're going to just run a really easy search. You can also look in your thesaurus if you want to for the correct subject headings. But like I said, I'm just going to run a very easy, quick search. So I'm just going to put in Paul. Whoa. Oh, where did my thing go? Here we go. Paul. And I'm going to add the truncation symbol, symbol here. It could also bring up Pauline, um, but let me go ahead and just put P-A-U-L asterisk. That will give me Paul and any, any other endings after the L, including um, Paul apostrophe S. Okay, so the Paul's letters. Now, that could be anything Paul. So I'm going to go ahead and put in here letter here for Paul's letters. And I'm going to also put in another word, Timothy, or a name of a person or one of his letters. And of course, like I said, there's first and second Timothy in the New Testament. I'm going to scroll down and ask for scholarly peer review journals. I'm not going to limit by years, but you might need to do that. And then I'm going to pick a language. So we're going to pick English. And I'm going to search. You can add rows also if you need to, to add more terms. And I retrieved 50 um, hits. So I need to make sure you understand that when you leave your your, the field that's been chosen to be searched with select a field, all of these fields are being searched. That's a lot of fields except the full text of the articles. So you can see I've got uh, retrieved 50 hits. Um, and I found earlier that that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the best search for you. It's just giving you an example. We're asking for everything with, with anything, any form of Paul. And then we're taking anything else with Paul, a letter letters, letters plural or singular, um, with Paul, and then also the word Timothy. So it's actually narrowing down the search as you go, and you always want to keep your ands on the outside. Um, I could come over here and do letter or book if I wanted to, to add other synonyms similar to letter. Um, so let me go ahead and erase that. You always want to keep your ands on the outside and your ors on the inside. So if I wanted to look at Paul and letters, plural or singular, and maybe a different um, book of the Bible uh, written by Paul, I could do that. So I could just put in um, Corinthians if I wanted to. I think that's spelled right. Let's see. Corinthians. Um, if I wanted to look for anything with Timothy or anything with Corinthians, I could do that. I'm going to go ahead and erase that. Or I could actually put in Paul, letter, or sin, uh, some kind of where Paul's talking about a certain type of um, topic in his letter. So let me go ahead and run, I uh, already ran that search. Um, if you wanted to get more, you could actually change any one of these to search the full text. So I could say Paul letter, and I want Timothy to be mentioned anywhere in the full text. I'll get a lot more hits that way. But for this case, we, we got 225. I don't need to do that.
and you can see that there's full text here. You can actually put your mouse over this page with the magnifying glass and see if there's an abstract or read a little bit about the record. Let's see, this one here is linking away out of um, Atla to a different uh, either website or um, to see if we actually have this journal here. Or if you don't find it here, it will should send you to the in, uh, request interlibrary loan. Here's another one that's full text. Here's another one that's full text. If you click on that, you can read it. And there you see right here. Make sure you're not looking at a book review. Okay, so let me go ahead and go back to the result list. And I want to change the search really quick to show you quickly how to um, get more hits. I did not uh, think that I would get more hits by running scripture search reference searches, but I actually did. Um, so I was looking through here. I can see here is Timothy, 1st Timothy, and the subject headings. Let's see, here is Timothy, 2nd Timothy, and the subject headings. And then here's 1st and 2nd Timothy. And then here it is mentioned in the title. Another place, Timothy, was actually uh, the last name of an author, or something like that. So it wasn't even ex exactly on, well, Timothy would be the author, I guess you could say. Um, but it wasn't in the place where I would have thought to find uh, the letter Timothy by Paul. So let me scroll back to the top and do a new run, new search. And I'm going to show you a, a scripture reference search. You can actually click up here on the top in the blue on scriptures. And you can pick the book of the Bible. You can pick the chapter and book or the chapter and book and verse. And sometimes this can be a little bit tricky. So I'm just going to scroll down and go to Timothy, going through Old Testament. And going again, hitting the next button. Going again. And here we go, uh, First and Second Timothy. I'm going to go ahead and click on the next one to see what I get. Um, I believe it picks up with the last and pulls it over to the next screen anyway. So let me go to previous. And I kind of tricked this a little bit. I took uh, the first chapter, I mean, sorry, the first book, Timothy, and clicked on it. And so it put, ran that and put the scripture reference code with Timothy comma space first in parentheses to tell the database to search in the scripture field. I'm hoping it's here. I didn't see it earlier when I looked. Maybe I just missed it. Hmm. Not seeing it there. But anyway, um, I know this is for scripture reference. And so I cheated a little bit and I said, you know what, I really am interested in also seeing Second Timothy, so I copied this. There may be a better way of doing it, but I'm not sure what it is. And I just put an or between it, just like I talk, told you you could do something like letter or book. I'm doing the same code again. Uh, scripture reference Timothy first, but I'm going to change, and here I am, another totally different search, scripture reference Timothy second here to get the second um, book. And I'm going to run that search. And now you see I have um, 754 uh, articles. I'm not sure that it limited to English, so let me go to language on the left side. And I'll pick English. Now it's updating. There you see there's other languages listed here. And now we're down to 595. Are they peer reviewed? Maybe not. So let me narrow that down to peer reviewed scholarly journals. And now we're down to 312. But that is better than just um, 50. Um, but there are other ways to narrow this down so you can get exactly um, the coverage that you need on exactly the correct scripture or chapter or book that you need or topic that you need. Anyway, that's a quick overview of how to use ALA. Very, very quick overview, and I hope this helps you.